Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 3 of Let's Play Classic Mario World The Great Alliance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we've finally begun World 2, so let's go to Fire Snake Hill. This should be quite interesting. In fact, I think this level has a secret exit. I doubt we found it right away. Yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, of course, this music is from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Oil Ocean Zone, I believe. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I recognize that track from pretty much anywhere. Hated that level. Well, then again, I wasn't really big on Sonic games. I feel like I have to elaborate on that every single time I play a ROM hack. It's like, I don't really like Sonic games. Like, yeah, I'm beating up a dead horse. What's your point? The point is, like, even though I'm not big on Sonic games, I still recognize most of their music. Keyword, most, not all. Alright, so we got a yellow Yoshi, which of course will create the quicksand effect every time you swallow, or well, eat any kind of shell. But it won't eat those fire snakes. I know I can go down there, but let's not do that yet. What I want to do is get this Yoshi big. Hello, Mario Bros. Bowser closed me in this egg. Thank you for save me, Now I will help you on your way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not an English as a first language kind of creator. But I saw a blue coin, so it's obviously going to lead down here. Hmm, that didn't really lead to, like, what I was looking for, though. Like, a potential secret exit. So I guess we'll just have to go back and continue on as is. Maybe the secret exit is in another one of these pipes. I wonder if the, uh... I don't know, like the uh, earthquake effect can kill the fire snakes. No, it can't. Shells can, though, which is good. It's good to know they're not immune to everything I throw at them. Because that would suck. I'm tired of fighting enemies that are immune to everything I do. Aren't you? You should be. Because then what do you do then? Whoa! Okay, that's a bit of bull crap right there. Did you see that? Apparently you can't kill them with those blocks. Lesson learned. I'll just have to go back to, like, climbing trees and looking for a secret exit. Oh, hang on. There it is! It was just on a tree. Huh, this also has a secret exit. Angry Sun rocks. No, it doesn't. Let's go back. This time we get the normal exit. So I'll pretty much just have to power through everything. But at least I already have a Yoshi. So it'll make things a little bit easier. And faster. Alright, so. All we have to do is... Whoa, go straight. Good thing I got the Yoshi back. In a nick of time. There, I'll use this shell in case I need to. Which I hope I won't. Huh. Good thing that block was there to save me. Okay, we'll pretty much have to bypass this completely. Let me just kill some moles and piranha plants. Yeah, you die now. For some reason, the flames were still lingering, but at least they didn't hurt me. Okay, there we go. You can get in this pipe, apparently. Oh, I didn't grab enough coins, apparently. Alright. What was the point of that vine there? Can't really reach anything else. Okay. I guess we'll be pressing on ahead. Yeah! Victory!
God damn it, don't you hate it when you like drink out of a can and some of it spills out onto your shirt? Sniffed Sky Ride? Don't you mean Sniff It Sky Ride? Because there's Sniff It's right there. And of course, a bunch of shy guys, but they pretty much don't count. Oh, good, a feather! This would be good for this type of stage. Whoa, whoa! Oh, thought you could get away from me, huh? Oh, these sniffits like to shoot three-way. That's the kind of three-way I don't like. Now, let's move on here. Ah, oh, Porcupos are in this level too, so there's a lot of Mario 2 enemies in this type of stage. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I pretty much lost the Yoshi. Oh, because the Yoshi was still on screen, it turned into a one-up instead. If it was, like, fully dead, I probably would just would have had another one. I guess we'll have to do without. Oh, ninjas are here, too. And a crap ton of coins. But at least we got our feather back. No, oh, luckily I think this level only has one exit. I figured I'd just go down gradually rather than just make a blind jump. Knowing my luck, if I did a blind jump, I would just die. Oh, you ain't getting me. You can forget about it. Alright, this level seems pretty simple. Just one of your typical athletic stages. Oh, 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 go, go, come back, come back! Thank you. I thought it'd be, like, a uh, shit out of luck here. Luckily, I wasn't. Guess I can just drop down here again, too. And grab another one of these. Heh! <laughs> Style. Oh, they're gonna try to drop on me. I don't like that. Oh, I didn't need another one of those. I was already good. Really? We're only getting our fourth one? I feel like I missed so many. But yet, I still got four. Because it's been a while since I grabbed the first one. And yet, here we are. We're in this kind of situation where we could get another extra life. As if I'll be needing it. Yeah, I think we can drop down safely. Yeah, as long as, you know, don't stay there. Nothing else? Alright. So I guess we'll just get the exit. Okay, so I did miss a coin somewhere. I gotta admit, I used to think that San Pellegrino's sparkling water soda was a little bit pretentious. But now I really enjoy it. Still a little less sugar than like a traditional soda though, which is good. Still a bit though, but still. That sounded a bit redundant. Anyways, let's go to Lakitu Desert Land. Thank you for the one up. Hey, if you want to get mad at me, you're the one that gave me the uh, friggin... Well, one up. You could have just tried to kill me regardless. And save us a little less bullshit. But no. You want to do things your way. Well, you're going to pay the price like it to. You keep coming back, I'll just keep taking you out. That's how it's going to be. Sometimes the power buttons can show for you secret entrances or hidden coins. What power blocks? Oh, P-switches? Didn't help! Oh, wait a minute. Now oh, I get it. Well, this level didn't even have a secret exit, so what's the point? And what's the point of that, then? There was no invisible block or anything. Oh, there was just a one-up here. Alright. Let me take another P-Switch with me. I don't know, who knows, you might actually need it. I don't think you can throw it up to hit Lakitu's. Oh, sorry. 
Here. You, you can't eat that? Fine. We'll just go up and down the boner pipes. I know that sounded mildly inappropriate, but... That's the way I am. Oh, that was a dumb hit. So, Lakitu is just feeding me stuff for the Yoshi. It's like all he can eat. Only not pretentious and full of, like, morbidly obese people that shouldn't be eating all he can eat. But nobody's gonna stop them, because, hey, they're making money. Of course they're gonna, like, allow them in. Even though it's kind of irresponsible, too. But, I mean, you can't just force them away, though. I don't know. I, I would not be one for all you can eat. I actually kind of think of it, I, I actually would be, because, well, then you have freedom on how much you want to eat. Nine times out of ten, you rather want what's in the buffet anyway, as opposed to what's on the menu. And then you get to control your portions, and get to try something new. I mean, granted, most of the stuff you see in the buffets are practically, I don't know, chicken nuggets or something. But hey, people love chicken nuggets. I'm one of those people. When I was a kid, I would practically, like, live on chicken nuggets. I mean, that shit's the bomb. Whoever created chicken nuggets was clearly sitting on a gold mine. That stuff will get you through high school. If you know how to work an oven. That being said, however, let's just go to Angry Sun Rocks. We don't even see the Angry Sun yet, but he'll be showing up, I'm sure. Hey, uh, can you move, please? Because I'd like to get what's in here. Such as that. It might just lead to a Yoshi coin? I thought so. Okay, I guess we'll just have to wait for the angry sun. Please don't shine down on me. Swooper! Oh. Okay. What was the point of this little area right here? I was thinking there'd be a secret exit, like something to trick ya. But instead, you just give us this crap. Okay, fair enough. It was all for a Yoshi coin. A bit elaborate for something so simple. That's all you're gonna give us. But fine, have it your way. Guess I can go up here. What's the point of this little area if it just gives you coins? I feel like there's something amiss about it. What? I just missed that thing. Mm, I don't see a sun. Wait a minute. Oh, I think there's a way to get that Yoshi coin. It's not really necessary, but I'm gonna try to get it. That was a bad hit on my part, I will admit that. Now, it looks like I should be able to get that Yoshi coin. I thought I could. It seemed like there would have been like a secret passage. But I guess not. Okay. I'll just ignore it. Maybe I can find that little secret passage around here. Or not. Fine. We'll ignore it. Might have been just another way to get that. Hang on. What's the point of these hidden blocks? They seem kind of useless to me. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Okay, we, we found the keyhole. But we also found the angry sun. Oh, there's the key! I was in one of those secret passages. There we go. Goodbye, son. Wasteland Boney Cove. I almost read that as Wasteland Beyonce for some reason. Well, to be fair, most of her music practically is a wasteland. And she's got a lot of waste that Jay-Z likes to land on, am I right? 
I guess most of my clever stuff on YouTube come from had to be related to Beyonce. And then when I'm with my Dungeons and Dragons from Sandbox Gaming Crew, I pretty much make puns out of almost everything. And yet when I'm here, my puns are kind of lackluster. I don't know why that is. You think you should be able to get that Yoshi coin going up that way, but it doesn't look like that's the case, and I almost landed on that Pokey. Oh well, I guess we'll just press onwards here. Oh, this is how you get to that Yoshi coin. There's there's a passageway right here. Now it all makes sense. That's a bit elaborate, but it works. Sure, I'll grab that checkpoint anyway. Why not? Okay, so, let's press onwards and go get that normal exit. I figure this is where the angry sun shows up. Likely we pretty much understand how this guy works. He always goes in that kind of motion. Like, no matter where you are in the level. And sometimes that still burns you. If you just barely graze into that thing. This abomination of the sun. I don't know if you can actually kill it. Nope, you can't kill it. Alright. I thought you could using a shell. Mm, this is all for Yoshi coin? Wow. That's one thing I noticed about this hag. They give you the, like these elaborate areas. And it's only for like a Yoshi coin. And that's it. You hardly get much else. Blockfall Fortress. I think let's do Wasteland Bony Cove. Apparently this one doesn't even have a single, I don't know, indicator as to what kind of level it is. Does it have two exits or one? It just has no icon. Why is that? Is it some kind of special level? I don't think so. It could just be like maybe a simple regular stage. Possibly. I guess there's only one way to find out. Maybe it's a challenge stage? Because I'm noticing a hell of a lot of piranha plants. Wait, did I already go down this way? Yeah, I did. So they actually sent me backwards. Maybe it could be a puzzle level. Who knows? Yeah, these enemy placements are downright evil. Oop, there we go. Okay, it looks like it's a decent challenge, I will admit. I would like to get that, but I'm not, you know, risking my health. Even though I could use a buzzy beetle, but what's the point? You just be... Having to, like, drag it out and make it land on the munchers. Then you get the coin, and you might miss another one, making it utterly useless. So apparently these skulls pretty much function as the spikes in certain fortresses and castles that fall on you. Nothing new. Also quicksand. So I'm not going to bother for that Yoshi coin. Look, I got 37 lives at World 2. Grant, even if I wasn't, like, rewinding or load stating, I probably would have at least 30. Maybe 35. Granted, I'm pretty decent at hacks. Oh, I thought there was another Buzzy Beetle. Alright. Yay! Something tells me I'm pretty much going to have to do these kinds of jumps. And Boomerang Brothers dead, and boom! I made it through! Oh! So maybe this does have a secret exit, otherwise we would have just gone through here. Wait a minute. I think once you clear out the fortress, then you go down. Okay, that makes sense now. 
Alright, let's go to Sink Sand Plains. Here's has quicksand around every side. It's better... No, it's supposed to be apostrophe it's. You be careful while walking on it, or you or will be able to sink too. Oh my god. I lost like 50 IQ points reading that. I feel bad for the person who wrote this. Because... I don't think this person was aware of what kind of Let's Player I am when it comes to, like, certain grammar. I'm often very merciless about that. Even though my grammar is not perfect, either. Okay, I guess that was just all for coins. Let me, let me go back and get that P-Switch. Okay, well that's nothing special. Alright. This just gives you lots of coins to work with. But it could be good if you really need an extra life. Oh, oh! Oh, even the mushroom sank. That's sad. But it was pointless. How the hell did that guy run through? Didn't even sink! Like, look, there it is again! Apparently these guys can just run on quicksand and not sink at all. It's all in the cape, I'm telling ya. Just makes them weigh less than zero. Well, I guess it doesn't weigh exactly zero. Prepare for much more quicksand, Mario. Try to avoid walk them. Try to avoid walk them? What? At some point, you have to, like, think. Like... Was English your fifth language? Again, I, I, apologies to whoever wrote this hack, but... You'd think that most hackers would have somebody that can translate them to English. But, like, they might know what guys like thinking, eh, I don't know, I think you gotta have to say it like this. But nobody ran it through him or her? I, I guess not. How's your statues in a coin heaven level? Wow, who'd have thunk it? That is unique, I'll give him that. Alright, now let's get out of here. Nope, not interested in dealing with you. I am in you, because I get this. There we go. Perfect. Now we pretty much have to go to the fortress. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Note, do not touch the falling block at side or you receive damage. Well, it's basically just a thwomp. That's all it is. Look, this is a thwomp too. You can pretty much tell if they're like a little bit lighter. Oh, hidden passage. Yeah, the music kind of cuts out. Maybe it didn't really respond well to this particular emulator. Alright. Oh, apparently you can go beyond this way. Do I want to? <laughs> no. That's a death wish. Oh, you can walk on top of those. Alright. You just cannot touch their sides for some reason. Oh, I thought I could clear that. I guess not. Oh, that'd be good to have. First, let me do this. That way, I have two flowers on reserve. Um, was there like three pads? Nope, there wasn't. All right, I only did that for coins. Don't get me wrong, I like coins, but they're not really that worth it. Okay, it's just swamps this time. Oh, fire bars! Those are back to Mario 1 days. Or lost levels, whatever one you started with. Chances are it was Mario 1. If you started with lost levels, I feel bad for you. But then once you get to, like, Mario 1, it feels like, you know, you're one of those baseball players that go in the batter circle and, like, s practice swing with, like, these very heavy weights around your bat. And then when you get over to bat... It feels so much lighter, therefore you have a better swing. 
That's kind of what it feels like. And once you get to Lost Levels, and then you get to Mario 1, it's like, wow, well, this is actually pretty easy. Or maybe you're twisted as hell and think it's actually harder in Mario 1 than in Lost Levels. Which I refer to you as like, dude, what the hell? How do you get to that point? I'm pretty sure Lost Levels is a lot harder. And both of them have very shitty 8-3 levels. Somebody will be able to testify to that. Yes, yeah, somebody in our sandbox gaming marathon is doing, or has done, but depending on the time this hack is done, Lost Levels? And let's just say he did not like A-3 at all. Didn't seem to like him that much either. It's basically become an inside joke where we're never to forget A-3 because of that. Hey, Iggy, what's up? Wait, did he just make himself invincible? Okay, I, I see what he's all about now. Like, he'll make himself invincible whenever he's, his head is flashing. The problem is those piranha plants. Not to mention his movement pattern is very jank. But still doable. Just granted, I lost all my power-ups. Okay, that's a weird glitch. Apparently, it just shows up as a cave now. But when you get the secret exit, it just shows up as nothing. So apparently, it was a cave level the whole time. Alright, we'll deal with Pokehead Oasis in the next part, okay? See you later.